I'm gonna check there's no lipstick on my teeth, genuinely. Actually, you can check. You good? You good? First to face the dragons, a husband and wife team, James and Sally Ann Connery. The uh, business we started during the beginning of COVID, um, and it definitely has tested our relationship, but definitely improved it. We're bringing in a device that should hopefully help gardeners across the world and make their life easier. Leaf collector? Yeah, you could just go down and pick them up with your hands, couldn't you? Do you do that, Peter? Do you pick your own leaves up by hand? No, I've got lots of people in my oh. estate that do all of that work for me. <laughs> Peter Jones may not get his hands dirty that often, but despite some nerves, James and Sally aren't afraid to get stuck into their opportunity in the den. I want to show the kids that you just got to sometimes be really scared and go for it, and then you got to go and do it sometimes. Oh my God, my heart. <sighs> it's a bit like jumping in a cold lake. You got to focus and then just jump in. Hello dragons. I'm Sally, this is my husband James, and we're here today to ask you for £50,000 for a 10% stake in our company. Clear and Collect is a multi-purpose garden rake designed to rake, clear and collect all your unwanted garden rubbish, making your garden tidy up time more efficient and kinder on your back. I've had a landscape gardening business for over 20 years now. And very early on in my career, I realised that picking things up off the floor would be a big part of what I'd be doing. I always believed there was a gap in the market for a tool that could do this more efficiently. And then, one day, I had a light bulb moment and I came up with the clear and collect that we have here today. So I'd like to show you how it works. Very easy to use. You place it over the area you're going to clear. You can walk along with it, close the clams together, to pick up the waste and then simply open it over a barrow to use. We believe we have proved concept here in the UK. So we have been trading for almost three years now and we've sold over 11,000 units to date. We sell mainly through our website and Amazon and it's rated at 4.5 on Amazon and it's rated excellent on Trustpilot. You will find one behind your chairs if you would like to come and have a go. That's great, and just thank you for having us here today. An invention designed to make tidying the garden kinder on your back is the offering from James and Sally Ann Connor. I'm probably the only one that does gardening out of the dragon, oh. so shall I give it a go? I'm gonna have a go. Oh, really? The couple are seeking £50,000 in return for a 10% share in their business. I just want to see. Careful, we don't want to give you a bad back. OK, yeah, I've got it. Job done. <laughs> for him, maybe, but not for the two entrepreneurs. For them, the hard work has only just begun. Tuka Suleiman is first to quiz them. Sally and James, good pitch. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's start off with, do you have an IP? Yes, it is a registered design in Europe and the UK, and it is also patent pending in Australia, Japan, Europe, the UK, the United States and Canada. What proportion of the business is Amazon? It's about 50-50. So 50 on Amazon and 50 on your own website. Yeah. Um, let's look at some of the numbers. You've been going for three years. So year one, we turned over £10,000. Yeah and a net loss of £17,000. Right, that's OK, yep. Year two, we turned over £57,000 and a net loss of £4,000. Yep. Year to date, we turned over £86,000 and a net profit of £2,000. No! But that was to the end of last month, so we've had 15 days since then. We've had, like, a record month and we've sold over 400 units in the last two weeks. Oh, well So we've done, done another 10,000 turnover since those right. actual figures went in. Look, as you, you said, what, in your pitch, we've proven concepts. And with these numbers is we've proven concepts. Yeah, yeah. James and Sally have sold enough of their leaf collectors to convince Tuka Suleiman that there is a market. Now, Stephen Bartlett 
wants to find out how many more of their garden tools the couple believe they can shift. What are your sales going to be this year? 290 turnover, 185 gross profit and 77 net. Those figures are based on selling 5,000 in the UK, 5,000 in Europe and 10,000 in the US. So when am I going to get my money back? Because I'm probably going to want a return on my investment of about a quarter of a million. When do you foresee me as an investor being able to get that money back out of the business and how? Given your experience of social media sales, a product like this, what sort of sales do you think could be achieved? Well, I mean, there's so many. Yeah. <laughs> so well, it's like you need to make two and a half million pounds profit. So when are you going to make two and a half million pounds profit? Or when is Stephen going to make two and a half million pounds profit for you? Is that what you're asking? Um, That's what he did kind of suggest it a bit that way. <laughs> I think on the three-year forecast was looking at a net profit of... 400,000 by the end of year three. That's by the end of year three, which averaged out over the three years at 250,000. So three years would be a 750,000 pound profit. So your money would be back before the end of three years. <laughs> God, three years. But I think we can do it a lot quicker than that. I think we can put a rake like this in every shed, in every house in the country and replicate that everywhere. We want to sell millions of the things all over the world and I think it's realistic. James and Sally harbour lofty ambitions for their product. But Peter Jones is the only dragon to have actually tried the couple's invention out. So what's his verdict? When I am doing leaves in the garden, I have a rake and it actually really cleans the lawn and almost scarifies the lawn. But your product, I thought that was quite good. I didn't have to bend down. <coughs> I'm quite tall, so bending down is a problem. Yeah. You've definitely proved that people want it because you've sold 11,000. But to make a really decent return as an investor on this, you're going to have to sell a hell of a lot. And I think to suggest that you're going to put it in every house, in every one that has a garden, I think that's a bit crazy because there's not even rakes you won't find in everybody's home. And that's why, sadly, I'm going to say that I'm out. OK. A blow for James and Sally, as Peter Jones fails to foresee sufficient profit in their business to attract an investor. Will Deborah Meaden view the couple's vision for the future of leaf collection in a more positive light? So I think it's really good. I love, I, I, you know, it's a really nice invention. But I liken it a little bit to, um, so I've got horses, and we use shovel and a broom to do the mucky out, and I actually do do my own mucky out when I possibly can. Weirdly, I enjoy mucking horses out. Very odd. And then they brought out this lovely invention that was a, a two-in-one tool. I bought one. Brilliant. Used it for about three days. Because, actually, it wasn't enough of a difference to what I was currently doing for me to want to change my habit. So I think there'll be a, enough people switching to this to turn it into a decent business. But honestly, I'm not convinced that I'm going to get a big enough return on my investment. So I'm really sorry, guys. I won't be investing. I'm out. James, Sally. I can really actually see it being a thing. I can actually see it replacing much of the use case of a rake as well, because it's better. My issue is I don't have a garden. I live in an apartment in central London. So I initially start with a lower enthusiasm for solving the problem that your product solves. And then when I look at the forecasts and I look at the return that I'll get and how long that will take me, my enthusiasm is lowered even more. So I'm going to say that I'm out, but I wish you the very best. Sally and James, you've proven the concept. You've sold 11,000 pieces. But can that concept be a business to turn over a million pounds? Unfortunately, you've not convinced me. And the way I see it is, this is a business for you guys, honestly. So for yeah. that reason, I'm out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Three more rejections to add to Peter Jones's earlier refusal. And four dragons are now out. James and Sally's hopes of securing the cash and contacts their company craves 
now lies solely with Sarah Davies. James, Sally. Hello. Hello. So, by the way, I think this is very well made. And actually, before I go any further, can I just say congratulations? Because so many people have an idea and they just sit there and they'll tell their friends and family about it or whatever and not actually get up there, design it, patent it, have it made, launch a business. And watching you demonstrate it, light bulb moment. Do you know, quite often people say, oh, I think you're a little bit too early for the day and or whatever. I think you've come here at the perfect time. You've gone through all of the losses, you've built up the business, you've taken the learnings, and I honestly think this business could be massive. But I think to do that, you need a lot of help. And I think I would be a brilliant person to help you do that. So I'd like to make you an offer. But I do think what I add to this business is an awful lot more than the 10% that you're looking for. So I would be willing to offer you all of the money, all 50,000, but in return, I would look for 25% of the business. Okay. Should we go and chat? Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we're going to go and speak to the wall, I think. <laughs> That's the appropriate time. An offer for James and Sally, albeit for more than double the 10% equity they were originally looking to give away. Exciting. Can the couple negotiate a more favourable deal? Would you go down to 20%? So, why would I do that? I think we'd set that as our absolute limit. In fact, it's beyond our absolute limit that we set. <laughs> would you consider the higher percentage and then dropping down after you've got your money back to 20. See, that's a better way to yeah. negotiate. Oh, so it's a <laughs> little bit of give daunting. and take. I want to do the investment, so find a way to make it work. We really want you on board. There, there's no question about that. We know that uh, it would be amazing to work with you. Listen, I would agree to do that, because you do seem like great people. That sounds... Sounds good. So do you accept? Yes, please. We've got a deal. Well, Excellent. Excellent. Yes, well I'll be in touch with that. Thank you very much, everyone. Congratulations. Wow. James and Sally have done it. Looking forward to working with you. And you. They leave the den with £50,000 and the backing of a dragon with the perfect skill set to help take their business global. When Sarah came in with her offer, it was quite tear-jerking, actually, and especially after having four. I'm out, and she's definitely the dragon for us, and I think it's just going to be awesome fun working with her. Do you want to use it? Do you want to give it a try? I do, actually, yes. Pretend it's money and you're raking it in from your deal. <laughs> Ten years' time. There you go. Oh, it's even Easy. easier than you made it look, Peter. That's tremendous. Oh.